All right, what's up, Hot Squad? Welcome back. So we're going to check out another cool Ono 9 recap. This is actually his recent one. This is his Creed 3 recap, and it's called Creed and Dom Traded PTSD and Brain Damage for 18 Minutes Straight. So hilarious talent, by the way, because hoo-wee. The fights between them were absolutely nuts. You know, I really like Creed 3, and so... Seeing a recap for this, I know it's going to be more and more layers seeing a recap for this. Of course, obviously, Ku Ono always dropping a lot of amazing recaps, man. I love his recaps. It's whole layers. So, Hot Squad, for ado, Ku Ono 9, Creed 3 recap. Let's check it out. That boy Adonis Creed woke up one day and was like, you know what? I'm tired of getting my gray matter plastered on the ring canvas. So, he unlocked the Sharon God. So, he unlocked the Sharon God mid-fight against Ricky Conley. And at first, Conlon is piecing Creed up, hitting his ass with nasty ass fakes and Conlon. Mm -hmm. Adonis over here getting in some jabs, some offense, but Ricky Conlon is just piecing him up this whole first round. But then before the round ends, that boy Adonis Creed unlocks the shower and gone with his nasty ass dodge, mm. pinpoints Ricky Conlon's weak spots. And then the bell for the first round ends. And while Creed is in a corner, Duke's like, hey bro, what you over here smiling for you? He over here beating the goofy out of you. You over here with this grin on your face. Your bro pal some CTE into your noggin and now you don't know where you are or what, bro. I'm going to need you to lock in for real. But Big Ghost Adonis over here smiling. He like, I'm just playing with this fool for real. Next round, checkmate. I got him. So now the bell for the second ring starts. And Creed comes out that hole firing off shots. He blocks a right from Colin and gets these two nasty ass body shots off on bro and dodges the left. Conlon gets that combo off on Creed. He been hitting his ass with the entire first round. Bro for real said, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> Donnie Dan unlocks the Mangekyo Sharingan, bro. Dodges the right and hits Conlon with the nastiest body shot I've ever seen in my life. Got that man's fat jiggling. He <laughs> dodges the left, hits him with a body shot left hook combo. <laughs> Dodge the right and hit Conlon with another liver blow. At this point, Conlon finna go to the bathroom and poop out his liver by accident. The way Adonis is beating his ass right now. But bro drops to the ground, the ref counts to 10, and Adonis won that fight. And just like that, man, Adonis retained the championship, and he can retire on top. Go be a family man, go chill, be with his daughter, just have a good life. Surely some strange man from his past won't come back up again and hit up Adonis trying to be friends again, but secretly holds a grudge. Dang. So back in the great year of 2002, Donnie and Dame was the best of friends growing up in group homes, damn near being brothers. But Dame was getting ready to win the Golden Gloves Championship as he fought this scrawny white boy. And Donnie was basically giving him his background, telling him what his weaknesses was. And Dame beat the brakes off of this white boy, knocking his ass out with this nasty ass right. So him and Donnie celebrate. They finna go to the corner store, get them some good ass vittles to eat. But then Donnie sees Leon, their old group home caretaker. And long story short, bro used to beat the brakes off these little kids for funsies. Hmm. So Adonis decided, yeah, I'm going to get it back in the bud. He started tearing his ass up. Yep. And he personally, I'm not letting no little ass kid beat the brakes <laughs> off me like this, bro. Because look at the size comparison. Look at bro's ball face. You can tell little bros about, damn, you're <laughs> beating up this 30-year-old? Oh, hell no, nah, bro. Pack it up, bro. You are no longer a man. Get up out of here. <laughs> to be honest, could consider your ass a man anyways if you was beating up kids for fun. But hey, you deserve this one. Yeah. But Leon's dudes come out of nowhere jumping Donnie. Go <laughs> 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 Stupid. Why are you jumping him? <laughs> and again, a grown ass man jumping a child not insane to y'all? Yeah. So Dane pulls out a gun, he fires, not hitting nobody, the cops come. They arrest Dame and Donnie was running for his life. Getting the hell out of there. Dame takes the fall for everything. Yep. And then we flash forward to 15 years later, damn near an entire adulthood later, Dame's back. And he asked Donnie, hey man, hook me up with that gym membership so I can start boxing on these niggas. Oh, shit. Now look, hmm. look, look, I don't do this very often, right? But as of me recording this video today, March 29th, 2024, hmm. sure. I'm at basically 94,000 subscribers. Okay. And next month is my birthday, April 15th. Nice, nice. I'm pretty Happy sure late birthday, I'm bro. 100,000. 
in the month of April, but it'll be really cool. I I think he did get um made it to a hundred thousand subscribers. I did get it. I gotta see. If we can hit a hundred thousand somewhere around my birthday, man. On the day, the day before, the day after, I don't know. I'm just thinking that would be really cool for me. Because yeah. last year I did a live stream for when it was my birthday and it hit ten thousand. And mm. then this year it'd be really cool if I could do a live stream for my birthday when I turn twenty. Mm, I twenty years old. Oh wow, twenty. I think it would be cool. So before I continue on with the rest of the video, I like for y'all go ahead, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. You know what I'm saying? Let's reach 100k together. But back to the video. Hmm. By the way, my birthday's in two weeks, May 10th. Be 26, baby. 26. So as a way to make up for Dame, he lets Dame train in his own personal boxing gym. But not only that, since Felix, the current heavyweight <clears throat> champion that's training under Adonis, keeps on running through sparring partners, he lets Dame spar with bro. So Dame and Felix start sparring, and this is where Adonis starts seeing Dame's dark side, because he got bro in the clinch, hit his ass square in the shoulder. He soon find out he won't even be able to fight Victor Drago for his upcoming fight. Because Victor got his goddamn hand broken in a club. Yeah. So now Donnie floundering, trying to get a fight for <laughs> yeah. Felix. Dan's like, hey, uh, I feel like, uh, you know what I'm saying? I could fight the nigga. So this Donnie makes the fight. And not only is this Dane's first professional fight, but it's a fight for the world title. The match starts, and Dame comes out to Nipsey Hustle. Oh, nah, Felix, <laughs> count your days. He is truly an old... I can't play this song for our fear YouTube will strike me down and take my decaps away. Old head from California. <laughs> but the bell rings, and we can clearly tell that Felix is the better boxer. Hmm. But Dame got more heart. He wanted more. Yeah. Now Felix gets this nasty-ass two-piece consecutive combo <laughs> right to Dame's jawline. But Dame said, all right, cool. I'm just going to make sure you have no more shoulder for the rest of the match. Mm -hmm. He punches him square in his left shoulder. Ooh. And now Dame is putting Felix on the back foot. He gets a couple jabs off on Felix, blocks the flurry, and hits him square in the shoulder again. Dame clinches Felix and pushes his ass up against the ropes and goes for these two nasty-ass <laughs> haymakers. But Felix dodged both of them, hmm. putting Dame on the ropes. While Dame's on the ropes, Felix goes for another combo, getting only a few hits off on Bro. But Dame clinches again, and his ass is blatantly cheating. He kicked the mess out of this nigga in his chin. And the ref over there like, wow, this is crazy. They really <laughs> boxing for real for us. Not paying attention to any of these blatant cheats going on. But these <laughs> dudes are going blow for a blow. Hook for a hook, they don't care about nothing no more. TTE be damned, they boxing. <laughs> but the bell for damn. round one ends, and Dame gets like four punches <laughs> off the of his dome right after the bell rang. And the ref's like, wow. That's, that's crazy. They really out here boxing for real. And while they're in their corners having their seconds work on them, and Dame's just there in a hole through Felix's left arm, he know he did damage with them shoulder punches. And these boys come out the gate swinging. <laughs> Felix landed a couple punches off on Dame, but Dame got this three-piece combo off on bro. Two to the body, one to the head. And just look at the ferocity in which Dame is throwing these punches. Dame throwing those punches so hard, I feel like if I oh get too close God. to the screen, I'm gonna get knocked out. But Dame's ass dodges up punches. And Felix's left wow. arm is completely mm. exposed, and he hits the hole with this nasty-ass uppercut. Had his whole arm cartoonishly fly back, <laughs> I know that hole hurt it. And then Dame just gets Felix in this nasty-ass hook chain, popping his ass into the corner. But bro tried to get out, but Dame said, no, 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 not mm. today. Pushed his ass back and purposely Ooh. grazed yeah, his ass with his elbow. Graze him. And it took this nigga Dame cheating for the 14th time for the ref to finally step in and be like, hold on, wait a minute. Now, I can't let that one slide. But then these boys keep on boxing. I'm talking about Mika, Mika, Mika all in the <laughs> Mika, room. Mika, Mika. Felix got the upper hand in this final bit of round two. Knocking down the bobblehead ass on the road as the bell rings for round two. And he's looking square directly in this nigga eyes. Telling them, hey man, I'm world champion for a reason. And the whole time, they in the corner talking to their seconds. Damn, just staring a hole at Felix's arm. He know what he going for. And round three starts, and oh nah, Dame just starts violating Felix. Bro took this fight back to prison. He said, use <laughs> my bitch now. This is crazy. I'm talking about Dame is giving this man Felix the most devious and atrocious of back shots. Like, there was no coming back from this. The bell rang, and Dame came out and hit Felix with a three-piece combo immediately. I'm talking about he sets him down left, left, right, and... Look at Donnie's face. 
this nigga trainer couldn't believe how bad he's getting cooked right yes. now. Like, this is insane. <laughs> then Dame hit his ass in the arm again. Then a hook, then another hook. Felix tried to throw in some offense, but Dame parried and hit his ass with another hook right to man's liver. But his ass wasn't done. He said the hook to the temple and the uppercut right to the jaw. Putting his ass right in the corner, then he starts going to work on that body. Felix tried to clutch his way out of there, but Dame said, It's about mouth. Mouth. <laughs> and Felix's mom over here trying to hype oh, up God, Felix. That I'm damn just clip. saying, I think you set bro up for defeat. She over here saying there's no such thing as defeat as Felix is on negative 4 HP right now <laughs> in the corner getting his ass beat. But the ref backed him up, but as soon as the ref let go, Dane was on that ass with an uppercut. And then he followed up with a hook. And he just continued Man. to beat Cuz's ass. Bro goes a hook for a hook for a hook. Then Felix tries to throw a punch. Dame dies and blasts his ass right in the face with this Damn. nasty ass right. Knocking his goofy ass on the ground. The ref says, hey, hey. <laughs> That nigga won by TKO, bro. Get him the belt. We, we got to put bro on a stretcher for real, for real. Oh, He's shit. Gone. Hell no. And Dan oh over here happy as hell. He just won the world championship. Of course, anybody would be happy. He's like, hey, hey, look. Hey, look, Kree. Hey, I'm champ just like you. And Kree's like, bro, bro, you see you see what you just did? No, no, nah, bro. No, nah, no, nah. bro. And that got Dame and his feelings. So, but after Adonis accompanied Felix to the hospital, his ass went to go find Dame. But before that, he got all the letters that Dame wrote that his mom kept away from him. And in that letter, hmm. he found a picture of Dame chilling with the dude yeah. that broke Victor Drago's hand. So now he got to go confront his ass. And he does exactly that. Knocks out random dude in the hat number two to go talk yes. to Dame. And Dame's over here like, hey, I spent 15 years in jail watching you live the life I lived. I don't care about That's anything false. you got to say. You soft, you a bitch, and you a pussy. Yes. I'm a better fighter than you. He also punched the shit out of Adonis saying, hey, I'm not holding a grudge, bro. This is just a promise. As Adonis angrily walks his ass away, Donnie calls Shannon, and then his ass goes on a smear campaign. He and it Adonis like, you know what? Hey, hey, you want to be like that? You want to be like that? Me and you for the championship. One more time. Oh, yeah. Also, that nigga Adonis' mom died. So Donnie and <laughs> Dame start training. Donnie training with... <clears throat> that was a sad moment, though. When, um... Felicia Rothschild's um, Adonis mother died. That was, a, that was a sad moment. Victor again. Also, they got this nigga hooked up to a plane and told him, hey, go wow. move this with your own body. Like, yeah, that's crazy. While Dame over here <laughs> eating up scrubs in his gym. But now it's time for the fight y'all been waiting for. Dame versus Don for the undisputed world heavyweight championship. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's get it. The bell rings and these two are just feeling each other out. Not throwing too many serious punches yet. But they ain't damn near pushing Donnie back with his goddamn Conqueror's <laughs> rocket. Not even doing nothing. Just Aura pushing this nigga back against the ropes. As he lands the first punch of the match. Punching Donnie right in the arm. He then jabbed the mess out of Adonis and his ass starts clenching up. Oh nah, he was not ready for this. And then these boys start boxing. They going crazy. I'm talking about Mika, Mika, Mika all in the middle of the ring. But Dame backed Donnie up on the ropes, and he just started teeing off on bro. He tried to throw this hook, but Donnie dodged and countered with the hook of his very own. And then round one ended. Round two starts, and them boys start coming out the gate swinging. And it seems like the only offense Donnie can get off on Dame is counters, while Dame is still going after that arm. But Dame backs Donnie up into the corner. He starts teeing off. But Donnie gets this big ass nigga off of him with this nasty ass Ooh. right hook. Then these boys just start teeing off. And just throwing these nasty ass haymakers at each other. And I know for the people that watch this movie in 3D, them niggas was getting knocked out too. But Donnie gets this four piece combo off on Dame. But Dame responds with this nasty ass right hook. Drawing blood on Donnie's nose. And Paul, look at Donnie's face. He's like, oh, oh, hell no. Nah. I ain't know you had it like that, big dog, bro. My fault. And then the belt for round two ends. They go in their corners getting worked on by their seconds. And then Donnie starts looking at Dame. He's like, oh, bro, wait a minute. And then this nigga CTE start kicking in. He starts seeing Dame yes. as a little kid. And so does Dame for Donnie. CTE kicking in at the same time is crazy. But then <laughs> round three starts. And then both these Probably put each other inside of a domain expansion. Nobody yeah. else is there in the arena. They're just throwing hands for real. And then these boys start going crazy. Dame over here throwing these nasty <laughs> ass power punches. I thought this was a really cool fight sequence right here because Michael B. Jordan directed this and he inspired the fights like some Dragon Ball Z type stuff because, you know, he's a huge fan of anime. And yeah, I thought the fights were actually pretty damn very, very anime like and I enjoyed that.
Punch as well. Don is using his speed to get out the way. Tagging Dane with a jab or a hook any chance he gets. But then Dane gets this nasty ass two piece combo off on Donnie. This nasty ass sternum check getting this crazy ass left. But that left that sent Donnie to the ropes was packed with PTSD. These niggas not fighting no more. They throwing PTSD at each other. Oh nah. And while Donnie's back is up against this jail cell, Dane just starts piecing his ass up. And then these boys just continue to box. I'm talking about Mika, Mika, Mika all in the middle of the ring. Up until Donnie realizes, oh, I can throw PTSD punches too. They was in a clinch, but Donnie threw his ass into a corner, laced his punches with PTSD, and just started going crazy on Dane. Hit his ass with an uppercut so hard, the cameraman got knocked out. And these boys just start going blow for blow in the middle. <laughs> they are boxing their hearts out. They not even saying nothing, but they're having the most intense, deep conversation these two could have possibly had. Sometimes when you and your best friend or you and your brother got a problem, you just got to box it out. Yes. And that's what they doing right now. They don't even hate each other for real. They just got to get this off their chest. Yep. And then these <clears throat> two punch each other at the same, same time, time, knocking damn. them both back into reality. On some damn Hajimeno Ipo Dragon Ball. Bro, real Boom. stuff. That's what I mentioned. That's what I'm off. saying. And the bell for that yeah. round ends. That's and it I'm turns saying. out that these two was in that domain boxing for 10 goddamn rounds. Hmm. Now we on the round 12. But while Donnie's in the corner, Duke starts talking to him. He's like, hey, Donnie, you out there boxing. He not boxing. He fighting. I need you to go out there and fight. The bell for round 12 rings and then these boys just start going at it. Donnie weaves this nasty ass left of hook and hits Dane with a right and Dane said no 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 not today and responded back with another one immediately until Dane like hold on wait a minute let me grab you up with this clinch. Damn near throws his ass up against the ropes and just starts wailing on Donnie. Gives Donnie this nasty ass sternum check and was gonna go for something else he parried the punch and put Dame on the ropes. And oh nah, <laughs> this man Dame hit Donnie with the nastiest sternum check yep. of all time. Yep. First he hit him with the fake out and then the sternum shot heard around the world. And Ooh. pause, look at Donnie's face. That man yep. does not even want to fight no more. He's thinking about <laughs> everything else he could be doing right now other than this. And that sternum shot sent bro down to all fours. But Donnie almost didn't beat the 10 cow until he heard his girl say get up. Then his ass had to act out like, oh, wait, hold on, wait, I wasn't even hurt for real. He got up immediately. But Dame's rabbit ass was on creed immediately. He pushed his ass up against the ropes and just started going crazy. Until Donnie dodged the hook and hit him with his nasty ass counter, backing his ass off the ropes. But Dame did not care. He was still on that ass. He was bobbing his head, doing that weird motion that's been catching Donnie off guard this whole match. But Donnie started bobbing his head with, caught his rhythm and hit him with his nasty ass hook. So Dame said, oh, oh, whoa, whoa, hold on. That's crazy. So he put his ass in a clinch, but Donnie punched his ass in the stomach, getting him off of him. And then he just one two his ass consecutively into the ropes. But Dame was blocking the whole time. Still, Donnie put the pressure on Dame. But then Donnie was like, oh, yeah. I got a shard and got that nigga turned it on and punched right through Dane's guard, knocking his bobblehead ass up <laughs> on the ropes. But he was not finished. Hit him with this nasty ass not right me. hook, knocking his ass out. Yep. Just like that. Once again, Creed is champion of the world. Mm -hmm. Donnie won the fight. But other than that, man, I'm going to get up out of here. If you liked, like. Comment, subscribe, do the good stuff. And uh yeah, I'm gonna get up out of here. Bye. Alright, maze recap cool on and on. Maze recap, my guy. Yeah, I actually thoroughly enjoyed the fights in Creed 3, especially the last fight with Will Creed and Dom, man. That's that was crazy. That was crazy, man. With um with the whole sequence when Creed and Dom had like just nothing but um Ionians faded away and you know the cage, you know, smoke everywhere and then it just turns like totally anime at that point. <laughs> it's, it was hilarious as hell. I ain't gonna lie, that was hilarious. But overall, great fight, a really great fight. So W recap, Ku Uno, W recap. So Hot Squad, if you enjoyed my reaction of Ku Uno 9's recap of Creed 3's, please hit that button, comment your thoughts. Have you seen Creed 3? What's your favorite Rocky Balboa movie? And how many how many times have you seen the entire movies of, movies as a whole? So yeah. I definitely enjoyed this one. Definitely enjoyed this one. So, Hot Squad, please stay tuned because I have my last Hot Baker reaction for today for now. See, I was going to do the Casper recast, but 
I'm starting to get a feel a little tired because if you've not seen my previous ones, I'm starting to get, you know, yawning and whatnot. Just got from work and, you know, I'm going to get something to eat for a little bit. But I got one more in me, y'all. I got one more in me today. So, Hot Squad, please stay tuned, like I said, because I have my reaction to the, <clears throat> the Spider Within, a Spider for Story official short film in a few moments, which I'm very excited to see that. So, Hot Squad, please stay tuned for that.